The Toronto Maple Leafs make a perfect signing by extending defenseman Simone Benoit, and we also have a big update on the Mitch Marner injury, making him think he may be back sooner than later. And we'll break it all down for you coming up on this episode of Hatrick HQ. But before we get to it, just want to see a 78.7% of you guys watching this aren't subscribed to the channel. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're big NHL fans just like all of us here and you're looking for a place for daily hockey content, you found it right here at Hattrick HQ. So make sure to go down below if you're not already and hit that subscribe button. But with that said, let's go right into the first topic of the video today, which is Leafs make perfect signing. And yes, you may have seen this on Twitter uh, just a few moments ago, uh, but Simone Benoit has been extended for three years at 1.35 million AAV for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And my initial reaction on this signing, I really like it. I'm a, was a really big fan of Simone Benoit. Uh, even before he put on a Leafs jersey, when they made this signing earlier on in the offseason, I thought this was the perfect signing for them. A big physical defenseman who can really lock down that uh, third pairing. And he's proven that during his time here in Toronto, proven it enough to Brad Trilliving and to the Leafs coaching staff that he has now been extended for three more years at $1.35 million. I think this is the perfect number for this guy. You know what you're going to get. He's going to shut down offenses. He's going to get into the mix physically. He's going to be blocking shots, laying the body. And stuff like this. And obviously, he has quickly become a Leafs fan favorite here. The milk truck, the milk man, whatever you want to call him. I think he's just such a great defenseman. And I think having him for three more years here in Toronto during their window of when they want to win a Stanley Cup is definitely the perfect option for them. Just having that guy there on the left side to lock down uh, their third pairing is just going to be phenomenal for this team. But if we get into uh, the weeds a little bit more here, as they say here, obviously, uh, this is from Jay Fred. If you know Jay Fresh, go follow him on Twitter. He puts out these great charts every time someone is signed, traded. Uh, he says uh, he's a physical play at home def uh, depth defenseman. Has carved out a spot for himself on the Leafs third pair after a difficult season in Anaheim in 22-23. Doesn't do much with the puck, but has protected the slot very well. And that is the thing that you want to look at here if you're talking about Simone Benoit. Is that obviously he's not going to get on the, on the points sheet as much. But he's going to be very solid in his own zone. He's a great stay-at-home defenseman. A great depth defenseman that you can even rock, you know, as a 7th, a 6th defenseman here. And I think this is what Brad Living and the Leafs have been looking for. Is this guy to kind of step in. He's still young, I believe, at 25 years of age. Still has some room to improve, but... As of now, he's great defensively, and I think j just playing with this star-studded Leafs roster may get him on the point sheet a bit more, but, you know, he goes out there, he fires the guys up, whether it's with a big hit, a big block, a, a fight, we've seen him fight a couple times this year, and that's... The reason he's become a, a fan favorite here, he's just such a fun player to watch out there on the back end, and least, I know a lot of Leafs fans are really happy today that they've got Simone Benoit back for another three years, and I'm really excited for the Leafs because really, I'm really high on this guy. I think he's the perfect like defensive defenseman to have on you know a cup-winning team, on a team that's trying to contend, trying to win a Stanley Cup, and if we go a little bit farther in here and we just look at his stats... So far this season in 54 games, he does have 5 points, 4 assists, 1 goal. Uh, but the big number to look at here is the 205 hits with 82 blocks. And in last season, in 78 games with Anaheim, we did see him get 216 uh, hits. And now in only 54 games, he's at 205. So he's improved his physical game uh, drastically by just laying the body more while he's out there. Trying to get the team fired up, get him back in the games, or just keep them keep the momentum rolling in games that they're up and I think this guy's really going to be a big piece for them come playoff time uh, in a seven game series you don't want to get you don't want to get under this guy's skin because he's just going to go out and lay you out he's going to either get in a fight lay you out or he's just going to get under your skin whether it's with a block uh, and, and stuff like this and I'm really excited that he is extended here for three more years and I think 1.35 is the perfect number with the cap going up and all this I think this should leave uh, the Leafs with 15 million uh, f at the end of the season to for free agency, whether it's to bring Domi Bertuzzi back, maybe they pick up a few extra guys, maybe a another goaltender here. It'll be interesting to see what they do over the offseason, but they do have lots of money to work with here, and they will definitely be bringing in some guys uh, to take the load off here during the free agency. But as of now, Simone Benoit, great signing, perfect signing for Brad Living, and there's going to be plenty more to come here during this offseason, and I can't wait for it. But we're going to get to our second topic of the video today, 
which is Marner back on the ice. And if we take a look here, uh, this uh, is from David Alter on Twitter. Uh, he says, least pra practice is set to uh, practice shortly, and Mitch Marner is back on the ice. And obviously, this is big news if you are a Toronto Maple Leafs fan, because Mitch Marner, obviously, there's a lot of questions surrounding when he's going to be back. Is he going to be back in time for the playoffs for, you know, maybe a couple games at the end of the season? And right now, it is looking very like fairly likely, because we've been in on this uh, pretty frequently here on the channel we talked about he was week to week then he went day to day just a couple of days ago or earlier this week and now he's back out on the ice testing that ankle out seeing if he can reach those top speeds thinking uh, seeing if he can you know get on those edges edges without hurting himself without re-aggravating this injury I think this is a great step forward and it kind of leads into maybe a return it, it might be imminent for him if you know he's feeling great if he you know completes uh Competes in a full practice uh, that hasn't been uh, announced yet, but he is back out on the ice. He is skating again, which is great to hear after you have a high ankle sprain because obviously uh, an ankle injury is a big thing in hockey because, I mean, that's your, your skating right there, so... I think he's recovering very well, and one thing that the Leafs and their, you know, their coaching staff and, and their trainers and stuff have done has been great to rehab this injury. They did announce that it was a, a, a mild injury when he did get injured, so it is great to see that he's making great progress here, and they're going to get him back very soon. And if you take a look just at Mitch Marner's stats so far this season, obviously, this guy has been a staple for the Toronto Maple Leafs during his time here. And so far this season in 62 games, he's also had 76 points, 51 assists, 25 goals. Uh, and also, one thing to note about Mitch Marner, too, is he's a great defensive forward, a great 200-foot player. He's going to be a a active on the defensive side of things as well. And if we just take a look at his last five games uh, before he went down with injury, he, uh, he did have two goals, two assists for four points in five games. So obviously, this is Mitch Marner's game. He's going to get you almost a point every game and sometimes maybe two, three points a game if you're lucky. And I think it's great that their star player here in Mitch Marner is set to return very soon. And I, I can't wait to see it because obviously this guy is such a staple to this Toronto Maple Leafs team. And getting him back in sooner rather than later, if he's feeling healthy is the big thing here you won't want to put him in you know if he's going to re-aggravate that injury before the playoffs you kind of want to give this uh, guy time to rest here now so that he can uh, get back in the playoffs and help him out that way but you also do want to have him in the last couple of games down the stretch here to kind of secure your playoff spot because right now they're not clinched but it is very likely that they're going to make the playoffs so uh yeah it's just great uh great update here on Mitch Marner that he's back on the ice he, he's testing things out see how it goes and and I think we will see uh, a return very soon, whether it's next week, may lead into the week after. I think he's maybe a week away here, in my opinion. But obviously, I'm no trainer. Uh, but I think uh, this is just great news for Leafs fans because they could really use this guy right now. Uh, obviously, one of their best uh, star players, uh, one of their best point getters, one of their best defensive forwards. It'll be great to get this guy back in the lineup. But I want to hear from you guys down below in the comment section. What do you think about the Simone Benoit signing? Because I'm a really big fan of it. I'm glad that we got the milkman back for three more years. And what do you think about Mitch Marner? When do you think he'll return? Do you think they'll give him some extra time here just to get him rested up for the playoffs? Let me know down below in the comment section. We're going to get into everybody's favorite topic here, which is comment of the day. And the comment of the day today goes to our boy Barry. He says, keep your stick on the ice. Wasn't that red green for the Possum Lodge? Uh, definitely before your time. And Barry, I wish I could say that this was before my time, but uh, when I was a kid, I always used to come home from school, and me and my dad used to sit down and watch the Red and Green show, so it's kind of been in my brain ever since that, so uh, yeah, Keep Your Stick on the Ice has been our, you know, end of the video slogan here uh, since we started the channel, and it all goes out to the Red and Green show, so shout out to the Red and Green show, if you haven't seen it, you gotta go check it out, because that is an all-time show, go check it out, but if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe subscribe button we're on the road for 3500 subscribers here on the channel so if you're big hockey fans big lease fans just like all of us here on the channel make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe button and if you want to check out a video we did yesterday on sheldon keith and john taveras it'll be popping up on your screen right now but as always i've been your host kc keep your stick on the ice